Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to the Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts Tournament. Today we're going to be looking at Italy versus Spain. We've seen France versus Spain, and Spain took that cleanly away from the French, even though some of their guns refused to fire. Is that going to be enough to also beat out the Italian ships? We've never seen these fight before. So let's see how well these 15 barrel warships from the Italians are able to deal with the Spanish. All right, here we go. It is the Pride of Rome, the Aquila d'Oro, and Castelfidardo, three Italian warships, against the Spanish España class. I don't know what the ships are called yet, don't have them ID'd, but I do know what they're capable of. Um, as do the French, I might add, who didn't have a fantastic time encountering these ships. Now, these Spanish ships are armed with 14-inch guns. Contrast that to the Italian ships, they have 13-inch guns. The Italian ships have potentially a pretty big downside, though. And that is no crew training. These guys are fresh out of the schools. Uh, they're cadets. They have no combat experience. And it shows. Minus 15% accuracy. Minus 20% aiming time. Additional reload time. And far less damage control. Attack on the ability to... Actually, no, this thing does not have crown quarters. It has standard quarters. So at least that's something. You're not going to have far, far less damage control by also losing crew. Their rate of fire at 76 seconds is not good. It's just... <laughs> it's just flat out not very good. Um, they do have a lot of firepower, though. They have 15 of these barrels as compared to... Come on, give me the Spanish ships. As compared to eight barrels on the Spanish ships, so they have double the firepower. Whether I'll be able to make any use of that, I'm not sure. I really am not sure. The ability to pin these Italian ships by the Spanish ship seems to be pretty good. I'm seeing quite the decent opportunity to deck pen here. But as you can tell, as the ships get closer, that advantage goes away. The pen chance is going down and down and down and down. Why is that? Well, the Italians are tanky. They got a 20-inch main belt plus 142%. They did, actually surprisingly, manage to inflict the first hit. Uh, it was actually so light that <laughs> it's hard to figure out what ship got hit. But hey, um, the Italians possibly by sheer volume of fire, we're able to get the first bit of damage in. Is that going to really affect this ship? Um, no, it doesn't have any damage instability. Like The damage was so light, it barely mattered. And all the shells are still falling quite far away from the ship. The Pride of Rome just took its first hit. Interestingly, not very deadly, not very damaging. But then again, we're still 13 clicks out, and both of these designs carry quite a lot of armor. So this could be more of a fight of uh, short-range brawling because only at that range do I really expect these things to be able to start petting each other. Ooh, I say that. And the Pride of Rome takes a couple of hits. Now she has damage instability. This is going to start to get potentially problematic. I mean... 2.5% crew lost, flooding. Their ability to acquire the targets to fight the flooding, fight the damage instability, I hope it's good enough. The way I'm looking at this fight right now really has me believe that the Pride of Rome is going to go down pretty quick and that it's going to snowball from there. Because losing one ship in these 3v3s can be absolutely catastrophic. It just means that you lost a lot of firepower. Your ability to decrease the enemy firepower has gone down by 30%. It's a really, really, well, pretty surefire way to lose the fight. Uh, the Spanish ships are absolutely hammering the Pride of Rome over here. She's already taken on quite a bit of water. The cadets are doing what they can, but just chucking a whole lot of cadets at the problem does not seem to be working for them particularly well. And Pride of Rome has decided that it wants to change formation. 
The ship is going to fall back in the formation, but this does expose her broadside, making her potentially pretty vulnerable. Thankfully, angled armor really might save the day here. Ooh, we got some flooding and a couple of damaging hits here on the Invincible. Uh, sorry, this is Spanish. Invincible. I probably butchered that. The Spanish, as opposed to the Italians, do have a secondary armament. Surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, they're firing armor piercing, which even at a range of seven and a half kilometers, well, it still has shit pen. Um, this thing is capable of penning three and a half inches. I don't think the Italians have three and a half inches anywhere. This just it is not going to make any kind of a difference. If they start, there we go. If they start firing high explosive, it becomes an entirely different story. Because I find that the Italian ships are far more likely to start succumbing to fires and floodings. More so than any of the other ships because of their bad damage control. On top of that, their accuracy? No, actually their accuracy is not that bad. It's more an issue, can they actually inflict some damage? Because these 13 inches at a range of 6.5 kilometers, so round that up to 7.5, can pen 36.8 inches of armor. That should be sufficient to go through the fore and aft belts of the Spanish warships. After that, they will encounter additional belts of armor. Shells will have been slowed down, they'll have less pen. But they should still be able to inflict some damage. Right now, though, like, it really does not look good for the Italians. Oh, good lord. That was, that was painful for the Aquila. She took a... Uh... Oh, I'm surprised she's not flooding after that hit. Castelfidardo, though, 60% chance to hit with all 15. If she were to fire high explosive, I feel she'd be probably more effective. She does fire uh, base fuse HE, which has a decent chance to pen something, but it's, it's very, like, middle of the pack. It doesn't have great pen. It doesn't have great fire setting capabilities. So it's just kind of eh. It's not that likely to do much. Castelfidardo though lost our B turret. So that's 20% of her firepower gone. Aquila seems to be fine. Although that stern turret is looking pretty damaged. And the already beaten up Pride of Rome. Is swinging her turrets around. Trying to get all of those 13s to fire. Now we're getting some destroyed secondary. Some floodings. They still got 93% structural integrity. These guys, maximum bulkheads, standard quarters, regular trained crew. Which means that the damage control difference between the Italian ships and the Spanish ships is massive. These guys have a 35% debuff. The Spanish have a 20% buff. They are far better at dealing with damage to their ships. And, uh, well... They're not taking that much damage anyway, because it seems that the Italian guns just aren't very capable of dealing any kind of damage. Now, let's not forget one additional weapon that the Spanish have. Torpedoes. They got their short-range, fast torpedo tubes, or torpedo launchers. 6.3, 57 knots. And are the Italian ships protected? Can they handle this? They got an anti-flood 3, they got an anti-torp 1. And they do have a Hydro 2. So they should be able to detect the torpedoes. And even if they get hit, it doesn't immediately end the ship. As opposed to some of the impacts that we've seen on the French ships that caused a lot of damage. A bit of damage there on the Espana. Supposedly some flooding, but I'm not seeing it. No, nothing. Where's the damage? Look at that. The amount of shells that they're still missing. How far are we fighting? We're fighting four and a half kilometer range. Uh-oh. Aquila taking quite a lot of damage there on the stern. I'm really expecting the Spanish to start uh, throwing torps at this, but so far nothing yet. Espana down to 83% structural integrity. Ooh. A couple of decent hits, but some overpens even. Now I'm seeing some flooding on the Espana. She has one, two, three, four, five compartments that are taking on water. 
She's lost 16% of her crew. Now, they can handle that without taking too much of a loss to their effective capabilities. The Italians have lost 10% here, 4 there, and 7.8 there. I'm seeing two, almost 20% losses, on, actually 21 on the Espana, 0 on the Intrepido, and the Invencible 8.1. Is this going to be the magical way that the Italians take out this ship? Just beat up the crew? That would be a very interesting comeback. Wait, 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 wait. Do the Spanish have the gun bug again? Much like in the previous episode where the Spanish were fighting the French, these 14 inches refused to fire. They had range, they had accuracy, they were loaded, everything. This is the second time I'm seeing this gun just flat out malfunction on all ships. There is some gun bug that's making the AI of the enemy ships, well, I mean the Spanish ships, I'm not controlling any of them. It's making the AI just not shoot. Whereas the Italian ships don't seem to have the same issue. So once again, something is happening with these Spanish ships. And I don't like it. Oh, there we go. Destroyed a torpedo launcher on the Espana. Espana has taken on a lot of water now. If these 14 inches would fire, that would end these Italians. Ah, a couple more shells coming out of these ships. And a torpedo from the Espana. The Aquila Doro has lost her B turret. And desperately tries to dodge the torpedo, but it looks like that's a no-go. Even at a full star return and a bunch of flooding. Oh, it's a dud! It didn't actually do anything. See, the Anfanchible is still not firing. Intrepido at least is firing again. Now, the irony is, even though some of the Spanish ships aren't firing all the time, I wouldn't be surprised if they'd still win this. Uh, much like they did in the French. These Spanish ships are very, very well designed. They're just really, really versatile with their secondaries. Short range, 5 inches, that is. Those torpedo launchers for knife fights and the 14 inches. They don't... <laughs> they're so good, they don't even need to fire the whole time to still potentially win the battle. They will probably lose the Espana, though. Now, the Espana, I understand. She's not able to fire because she's listing so badly that her guns cannot be elevated far enough to actually shoot at any of the Spanish... Oh, sorry, the French ships. What's your excuse, though? This is weird. And again, I'm... I'm a bit torn between doing the battle over again or just letting it be. Because it's something I cannot influence. And... If the Italians would um, somehow win the fight, I do it again, and then they lose the fight, then, well, let's say the Italian faction is going to be up in arms. Um, if I don't redo it, and the Spanish ships lose, potentially because of their inability to shoot, well, the Spanish faction would be up in arms, so there's no winning for me. But it looks like there's not a whole lot of winning for the Italians either. Because all Spanish ships, exception the Espana, are using those 14 inchers. And they're pretty angry. Interestingly, they're missing a couple of shots at point blank range. It's three and a half clicks out. These guys really should be able to do a whole lot more damage than they are. Big salvo coming out of the Aquila. Barely any damage. Most of it got blocked. Aquila has an accuracy of 8%. She's lost quite a bit of her crew. And of course, damage and stability is not exactly helping. Um, there are other gun splashes as more ships fire at the same target. And, well, most of the shells just get flat out rejected by the Invencible. It just it bounces off. Do you not have a starboard torpedo launcher anymore? No, you do. 
You're aiming it at the Castel Fidardo, which is the lead ship, but you cannot angle far enough to get that thing to launch. Castel Fidardo took some flooding hits. Hold on, the Espana is firing again. She's reloading her guns. Doink, everything ricocheted or blocked. Her buoyancy is really bad, but she's still here, and she's able to bring one of her stern turrets to bear. With an 87% chance to hit, this extremely badly damaged warship is still able to shoot potentially more accurately than some of the Italian ships. Oh, torpedo away from the Espana, going directly for the Pride of Rome. The Pride of Rome knows about it, but she has a damaged rudder. Torpedo detonation aboard Invencible, probably not that bad. The Spanish and the Italians, damage-wise, are looking pretty even, but I doubt it's going to really do that much to change the outcome here. Oh, this is going to be a close call. I think they might actually dodge it. <sighs> yeah, they dodged it, but uh, in the process, they took a bunch of damage as they opened up the port side to a lot of attention from these Spanish ships. Intrepido has your launcher. Your launcher is available. All your launchers are available, in fact. Blocked. For now. Blocked. Missed. Blocked. Missed! Oh, come on. Look at how little damage these guys are doing. They get either partial pens or over pens. There's no actual serious amounts of damage going on on the Intrepido. It's unfortunate for the Italians. Yeah, the Spanish don't seem to have the same problem. Torpedo detonation. Like, this is one way to get rid of the torpedoes, just detonate them all aboard the enemy ship. It might be causing some minor damage. Crew loss on the Invencible is 15%. 37 and a half on the Espana. If only the Italians would focus on the Espana, they could completely knock out this threat. She might not be able to use her main guns, but those torpedoes are no joke. Ooh. Flooding on the Pride of Rome. This could be the end of her. 22% buoyancy. 21. Oh, these guys are going to be so close that they take damage no matter what. Navigation error between the two Italians. It's a good thing friendly ramming doesn't do any damage. And the Pride of Rome is being pushed back into the Spanish ship. Oh boy. <laughs> this is not good. I wonder when this thing is going to finally launch a torpedo. Because it has to happen, right? 700 meters out. She is aiming at the Pride of Rome. It's just 500 meters out. Decent damage. Oh, the Pride of Rome is flooding. 2%, 1%. She's fighting for her life. Look at this range, though. These guys are so close together. The Pride of Rome sinks. Heavy flooding. Ouch. And it looks like the very badly damaged Espana is coming back with a vengeance. As she once again launches a torpedo that this time will strike the Aquila. And it's another dud. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The Spanish are not having a great time. But they're not letting up either. The Invencible finally launched another torp. And it looks like it will impact. It would be a really bad throw of RNG if it's another dud. Missed him. Gonna hit you on your stern. Ooh, 886 damage. Two more incidents of flooding, mostly amidships. Look at how those 5-inchers are mostly just ineffective. 
They've done some damage, but by far most of the damage came out of the 14 inches. Which, if you contrast that with the um, performance from the British ships, they also have a main armament, but they had their secondary armament do far more damage. Oof. Yeah, I think it's, at this point, mostly a matter of time until the Italians succumb to their injuries. Oof. I'm not sure if this could have been prevented with a different crew. Are we going to see a ram here? It's completely unintentional, but it could be catastrophic for these ships. Yep. Well, that's probably the fastest way to cause damage to the Italian or the Spanish ships. Sadly, this caused the well, the final nail in the coffin for the Aquila. Cause that level of flooding insurmountable by her uh, cadet crew. Gone. And that just leaves the Castel Fidardo. And yeah. The Spanish ships are bearing down at her 400 meter range. A turret gone, B turret gone, uh, Y turret gone. Crew. The crew's actually not doing that bad. They've lost 22%, which, considering the state of affairs, <laughs> is actually pretty good. Oh god, look at how close everybody is. 700 meters, 1 kilometer, 900 meters. Are you gonna do another ram here? Is that the Italian tactic? <laughs> Just use the, the ship as a weapon. When in doubt, ram it. I'm not even sure what they're trying to hit anymore. Oh, this one. Yeah. Stern turrets are swinging around. More flooding. That's one, two, three, four compartments that are taking on water. The Espana really surviving by the skin of her teeth. And they just completely fluffed their shots in the infantry blade. Unfortunate. Oh! <laughs> Full salvo from the Intrepido. Everything ricocheted. They've blocked 261 shots, and 35 were ricochets. Come on, Spain. You're, ma <laughs> You're making yourself look bad. Oh, not that the Italians are doing any better. Oh, the Espanol also has a low fuel warning. Flooding. This thing is taking such a beating and surviving. Testament to the super armor that these Italians are using. 20 inch main belt, 10 inch fore belt, and well, I was a bit hesitant about it, but the 15.7 inch stern belt armor is actually helping them right now. Oh. Almost rammed the sinking Pride of Rome again. Castel Fidardo, 8%. Seven, five, oh, three, two, one, sunk. Castel Fidardo out of the fight. That's a 3 0 victory for the Spanish. Just like that. The Italians lost three and a half thousand men. The Spanish lost 863. But more importantly, the Spanish gain another point and advance to the next round. And with that victory, the Spanish have already secured their place in the semi-finals, where they will meet the United Kingdom. The next round is going to be France versus Germany. These two nations were thrown out by the other parties. Doesn't mean they're out of the tournament just yet. So join me next time as we continue the tournament. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I am. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments, and I'll see you soon for the next match.